card number four. Crossfire. The Sniper's Nest. Oswald, right? Oswald was not here, right? Oswald was not here. Bill Hicks has an amazing little sketch he does regarding Oswald and the assassination of John F. K. It's phenomenal. I highly recommend if you haven't seen Bill Hicks's segment on JFK assassination of JFK, I highly recommend looking it up. And he has a little bit regarding this scene right here. Oswald was not here. He's a little bit, I'll give you the punchline. He says, oh, there's a museum where you can actually go there and see where the shots were taken. And it's very accurate to actually what happened because Oswald was not there. Crossfire. Card number four. 30 minutes after the assassination, Dallas police found what they assumed to be a sniper's nest. Boxes piled high around a sixth floor window in the easternmost, easternmost corner of the Texas School Book Depository, TSBD. Three spent shells lay near neatly on the floor in front of the window. 20 minutes later, a rifle identified in a sworn affidavit by Dallas, Dallas police as a 7.65 millimeter German Mauser was found under a pile of books in another corner of the sixth floor. The next day, the rifle was re-identified as a 6.5 millimeter Italian Manlesher Car Carcana Carcano that basically matched the three shells. On the 138 of the 138 witnesses to the assassination later asked to testify as to where the shots came from, 32 said they came from the uh, Texas School Book Depository to the right rear of the president, while 58 named the grassy knoll above and to the right front of the limousine as a source of the shot. Most of the other 48 witnesses heard shots from both directions. In addition, many smelled gunpowder near the picket fence on the grassy knoll. Police and bystanders rushed up the embankment towards the knoll. Fresh footprints uh, were seen behind the picket fence. The first Dallas policeman to reach the parking lot above the knoll encountered a sloppy, uh, sloppily dressed man standing by a car who produced Secret Service credentials. The Secret Service later def denied any knowledge of this agent. At 2.30 p.m., a man was brought into police headquarters under suspicion of killing a police officer. His name was Lee Harvey Oswald. An employee of the Texas, Texas, Texas School Book Depository, Texas School Book Depository, whose manager Roy Truly had last seen him two minutes after the assassination, drinking a coke outside the second floor lunchroom. Okay. Wow! 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 